Well, it had been a project that I'd wanted to do for a long time. I'd been workshopping it in a class with a coach, um, but it was uh, something that I had wrestled with and had been stooling over uh, over the months of the pandemic. Because it's the story of the, the false myths that uh, society and Hollywood has put upon what true West is, right? I think there never was a true West. It was always a myth that Hollywood kind of put forth to us as an American society. Just the ideas of identity, of toxic masculinity, on what it is that we think uh, a 30 year old man should be or shouldn't, uh, what an artist should be, what an actor should be uh, at this point in time. The journey of finding your true self. I think we as people, we, we kind of try on different hats and, and, and do different things, but, but it, it asks the question of, can we change? You know, as human beings, can we change and, and do things differently? Uh, and um, what, what's our true nature? And we thought, well, why don't we um, try to make this an all-woman production team and see how, how amazing that would be with Sam Shepard's True West, a very male-dominated, powerful play. And so we decided that we would take it on, and we're here to tell the tale. I know that True West is known by a lot of people in the theater world, and I just want uh, everyone to know that we did the best to not have it be exactly ha how uh, you may have seen it in the past. I just mean that in how we have allowed the actors to really um, take hold of these characters and make them their own. Um, I think that's important as a director too that you are always, if you brought these actors in to play these roles, that they have something to offer. Um, I think that if you've seen True West before, you've not seen True West like this, and I encourage everyone to come out and check it out. I'm with her. Ha, ha, ha.